okay so hello friends in this video we're gonna look at how to determine if the cpu is actually working or not right this is a dual core cpu which is the penring cpu which matches the gmch and the ich4 series P uh, ich right this is the south bridge this is the north bridge and the cpu so it's gmch ich right so i have already wired the oscilloscope to the h1 pin of the cpu socket right and i have wired it into the cpu because the cpu has to be in it in order for it to work i have put the heat sink on it to cool it so i can demonstrate to show you the signal all right so we're going to head over to the oscilloscope now all right and i've set my post per division to 500 millivolts right my time base is set to at least five microseconds and my trigger level is set to 500 millivolts and my edge type is set to rising edge right so i'm going to give power now all right and i'm going to take a look at the screen as you can see, that means the CPU is perfectly working. So after the CPU gets the reset signal, PLC reset, or the host reset signal, it will then automatically go through the DMI bus, which is the DSB wire to check the, in, the, the DMI bus, right, through the DSB, DSB wire signal. Then the GMCH through the DMI bus to talk to the ICH to read the BIOS. And that information will return back to the CPU and that indicates that the CPU is working. So in a no display fault, you can check the H1 pin to see if the CPU is working or not, right? Then you can check with a domino card uh, to see if the connections between the GMCH and the ICH is open circuit or is it a short circuit. So this is a way you can determine if the CPU is perfectly fine. So your fault is either between the GMCH and the ICH.